Hey, Scott Ainsley here in open D tuning. That is D, A, D, F sharp, A, and D. Open D tuning, and we're going to be playing uh, around with taking a look at left hand, how you address the guitar with your left hand. Um, I have a number of students who grab their guitars like it's a baseball bat or a tennis racket, and the guitar rests in the palm of their hand, and it's a, it's a pretty terrible habit to get into if you want to play finger style guitar and get clean sounds out of the unfretted strings. If you're holding a guitar like this, your thumb should be working on the bass string somewhere. And that's absolutely critical when you've got like an F-shaped chord um, where you need that bass string for, uh, for a D in standard tuning, that F-sharp there. But uh, failing that, failing a job for the thumb on the f in the string plane, your thumb should be back here. You can see what happens when my thumb is pointed toward the ceiling and above the fingerboard is my fingers come in at an angle like this. They come in sideways like this. And as I rotate my hand around, you can see them arch and come very beautifully down onto the fingerboard of the guitar. This C shape right here, this sort of reverse C, where your forearm and the metacarpals and then the metacarpal phalangeal joint is over the fingerboard and your fingers come down straight onto the strings. This is a great way to clean up the sound of your guitar playing. Whereas this, you can kind of get it, but my finger starts to kill the second string. And if my hand's too close to the fingerboard there, the flesh of my palm will kill that string as well. So. In order to clean that up and get real control, there'll be a little space between the the first knuckle of your hand and that and your palm and the neck of the guitar. Where there's a little space there, and you're coming at the guitar, floating your fingers over the string plane in this really beautiful way, so that you get this nice arched C shape that that brings your fingers straight down onto the string fingerboard mm. like this, rather than coming at it at an angle like that. So if you're having trouble getting a clean sound out of the guitar, experiment with how you're touching it, how you're holding it. Making music is a really physical skill, and how you address the guitar and where the guitar is in space can be really important in succeeding or failing. So this is a very common hand position, and it cleans up all the, all the, the open strings. The other thing you'll notice in this accompaniment and as I move around on the guitar uh, generally is that my hand stays in this position. It looks like this here, it looks like that there. And I move by moving my arm, releasing a little bit and moving my arm and sliding up the guitar neck. In order to do this cleanly, you want to look at where you're going. If I'm going to the seventh fret, I look at the seventh fret and, and land there. I don't try and get it looking at my hand as it moves. 
I know where it is there. The next move is the seventh fret. I look ahead and move. But the whole arm moves so that it's... The other thing that you can work on, especially with a finely wrought instrument, this is a froggy bottom guitar, and it can, it's very responsive, and it will give me all that high-end scraping along the, the strings of the guitar. So to, to get that squeaking out of the way, I release, move, and then plant my fingers again. So I'm often hopping from place to place on the guitar like this. So I'll make the first chord, release everything, and move up, like playing hopscotch, sort of. I'm not actually completely losing contact with the, th with the wound strings, but I am really lightening up my pressure between my thumb and index finger. One of the ways you can learn this shape, this nice C shape of the hand, is to put all your fingers on one string of the guitar and slide them up the neck, moving your thumb with them. You can see how my thumb moves here, 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 here. I just lighten up, sort of take it off the neck a little bit, lighten up my pressure and move. And as I go from the sixth string to the fifth string, to the fourth string, to the third string, the first and second string, my hand will rotate around the neck like that. But it stays in the same kind of C position so that I have one muscle memory to worry about and not six, one for each string. So rather than reaching with your fingers to get to the far side of the neck, you actually rotate your hand a little bit to get over there and then rotate it back. Uh, and this is easier if the guitar is stable in your lap or in your, uh, in your hands. And so I wear a strap. My strap button's here at the, at the, at the heel of the guitar and at, at the tail block. And the guitar is centered on my sternum, which is exactly where I want it. And it's at a little bit of an angle to make addressing it this way very easy. The farther, the more horizontal the guitar neck is, the harder this is going to be and the more likely it's going to fall into your hand like a baseball bat. So it's hard to hold this position when you get up here. This straightens everything out. It opens the entire neck to your body without your, your humerus, your funny bone, running into your ribs or your pelvis. Um, and you can, you have access to the whole guitar neck without having to contort yourself to get to the guitar. Whereas here, when I come up here, my elbow, to keep my hand in the right position, my elbow runs into my, into my body and the humerus is pressed hard against it and it just sort of, everything gets compressed to keep this space between your elbow and your humerus and your rib cage open. Square your shoulders, get the guitar at a little bit of an angle and you'll find that this is very easy to do. Whereas here, you wind up you know, with your elbow jammed against the body. So put the guitar where you want it. Um, make it come to you rather than going to where it happens to be. And remember that for me anyway, I have little short fingers, little square short stubby fingers. I should be a bass player. I've got a great big square palm. It's a working man's hand. But um, when I play guitar, I have to get them out of the way. There are chord forms that I can only make with the guitar neck up here. Um, this sort of four fret spread where I've got something in the first fret and something in the fourth fret on these other strings to get my fingers out of the way of the other strings, I have to put the guitar up here. It's impossible to do down here. And it's, you can feel the stress on your wrist when you start to do something like that. It starts to hurt right there. That's a bad sign. So there are guitar chords that I play here, and there are guitar chords that I play here if I get my thumb over the top of the neck. Wherever it's easiest, I will move the guitar in anticipation of that chord, play it, and then put it back in what I consider kind of neutral position, which is sort of where you find it right now. So I hope this is useful to you. Making music is a very physical activity, and paying attention to the ergonomics of it uh, may help you master the instrument. So, good luck. All the best.
Cheers.